What's up you guys? Welcome back to the channel. So today we have a very, a very fun packed video because we're going off, cru off cruising. Idiot. Today we're going off-roading in some land cruisers. Some like 1994, 1995, 1996 land cruiser Prados from Northeast Auto Imports. Derek, the owner, shot me a text. He was like, hey man, you want to go off-roading in some land cruisers? And only an idiot would say no, and I'm an idiot, but I said yes. My friend Tyler, the main mechanic there who did some work to the C5, will also be taking his personal Land Cruiser Prado that he, of course, bought from the shop as well. So it's gonna be a blast. We're gonna look like the Booger Sugar Mafia showing up in these things, because that's literally what, that's what they look like. We're gonna be taking these Land Cruisers to a local classics road to do some land cruising. As we began our trek to the off-roading spot, people clearly thought that it was the Mafia coming for them. What the hell? That guy back there was like, what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> and my new friend Brian decided to join us in his mammoth 80 series Land Cruiser. Do a burnout, you wussy! <laughs> <laughs> the Land Cruiser that I'm driving is a, like a 1994, it's a diesel four-door it is an automatic <clears throat> may i help oh, you sir wow. <laughs> How's she running? fantastic fantastic cool. actually it's actually yeah empty cool. so. Good luck. Uh, your radio while I'm gone. that's yeah i love i love music <laughs> <laughs> The trail begins abruptly, and it's very rocky and covered in roots. But only a few minutes into our excursion did we run into Karen and her friend, oddly enough, also named Karen. Though they acted so sweet and so nice at first, we could clearly see them taking pictures of our license plates. Then this man on a four-wheeler yelled at us not to leave any trash behind. I told him kindly that she wasn't in the truck, and we broke up just last year. Oh! Oh! So messy! It really is quite the experience to be able to off-road in a right-hand drive, beautiful condition Land Cruiser like these. And I'm thoroughly impressed just how these Land Cruisers handle this terrain. And for those who are curious, the three Prado Land Cruisers that me, Derek, and Tyler are all driving do have a small lift kit in them, while Brian's 80 series Land Cruiser, yeah, that's on a different level. So none of these are exactly bone stock. And then, I got stuck. Would have probably been smart of me to put it in four-wheel drive before this slick little muddy incline. A quick flip of a switch and pull on a lever, we're on our way. The trek continued.
It's truly amazing how well and how smoothly the Land Cruisers handle this variety of terrain. It just helps if you put it in four wheel drive when you need it. The suspension is so soft and so supple and the diesel engine just putts along like a tractor making that glorious sound. Handler. <laughs> Alright guys, come on, let's go. The lifted big tire and triple locked 80 series Land Cruiser made quick work of a deceivingly steep and rocky hill. Wow, is that Jake from State Farm? <laughs> I've actually gone up this same hill a few times in my Jeep Wrangler, both of which times required a change of underpants after. And it's pretty steep, so I don't want to hear that your second cousin's next door neighbor's tricycle could have made it up that, because it couldn't have. Maybe I tried. The camera does not do the size of this thing justice. Ha, that's what she said. You made it look easy. <laughs> Coming down is just as fun though. <laughs> Once we finished up all changing our undies for Brian, we continued deeper into the woods. Our friend Brian then left in his 80 series Land Cruiser, leaving just the three Prados to press on.
You're in two wheel drive? Yeah, but it's not locker. Oh. oh no. I have a locker. My name's Derek. <laughs> this is pretty cool. This is where the fire was. What? Yeah, there was a big fire. Right? There was a fire out here? Yeah, 38. When? Um, Holy crap. Let her drive. Don't be an ass, Derek. <laughs> Boys are telling me there was a massive fire back here, and it, uh, it looks like. This is nuts. It's like driving through a friggin' horror movie. I'm waiting for the Texas Chainsaw Massacre to run out and kill me. A decent sized one. Let's see if my little land cruiser can make it now. Now the ending section of the trail is where it got the most difficult. Narrowing trails, more rocks, wet with rain runoff, and tighter turns all added to the fun. But the land cruisers prevailed. And you know what else prevailed? A bruise on my forehead. Ugh. Time to make the trip home. All right, guys. Well, we're finally back at the house, and man, was that an amazing time. That was so much fun. That was so cool that that 
monstrous 80 series Land Cruiser joined us. That thing was a tank. Makes me really want a diesel in my Jeep. Too bad I'm poor. But anyways, amazing time. I love off-roading and I miss doing it. There's not a lot of places to go anymore and there's not a lot of people that actually go off-roading anymore. So if you're actually interested in the Land Cruiser Prado that I drove or the dark blue one that Derek was driving. Those vehicles are actually for sale. You can inquire with them. I think the dark blue one is actually going on Bring a Trailer and I'm filming a full review with it this coming week actually. So you can go bid for it when it's on there. I believe it's going on there. So you can check out all their contact info down in the description below. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Comment down below what you thought. If you're enjoying the off-road videos then just simply comment down below say make more off-road videos or make more Land Cruiser off-road videos. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Help me hit my goal of 100,000 subscribers before the end of this year. But I will see you guys in the next one. Happy motoring.